it should be something somewhere you can identify with because all good things come from God. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Matthew 11. Matthew 11 and 28 through 30 verse. KJV, the King James Version. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and I, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I want to talk about from glory to glory. May I inject that Hebrew 6 and 1. It said, therefore, leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection. Leaving the doctrine of, uh, you know, and not laying again the groundwork of repentance again. So in other words, keep moving. Wait a minute, keep moving. The Hebrew uh, people, the teaching of Jesus, he come first to his people, but they receive him not. But the damn, like Gospel of John said, that receive him, he give them power to become the son of God. There are time we'll separate stuff and take inventory and things, just like Jesus did. Yeah, man. The kingdom of heaven announced at hand by John the Baptist and by the king himself and by the 12 disciples attest by mighty work. And and what but been morally rejected. The play is chosen for the testing of the nation from having reject both John and Jesus and reject the king. So the king now speak of judgment. The final of official rejection is later, you'll see in Matthew 7, 31 to 37. Now there's a new message. See, you come to different level at different time. Amen. Us. Uh, if, amen. So <clears throat> now there's a new message here. And the reason the message uh, changed, different method, is because when he come to them, they reject him. So, he, so it's actually personal. Come down to those that believe. Come and let's see the implication of this. The implication of it is that uh, <clears throat> like you come to a conclusion that can be drawn from something, although it is not explicitly stated, like a discernment here and what is happening here, and got the ability to perceive and understand and and judge uh, things clearly and uh, especially the things that are not obvious or straightforward then then you're going to apply that you know like I said before it's it's a unique it's deeply personal deeply personal uh, reading the bible and studying the bible so it's a difference in just reading the bible and studying the bible so it, so it's unique for each person regardless of what level you at amen so you has to make it a relevant truth a personal truth and involve developing a strategy and action uh, toward what is perceived of uh, implication and application 
um, then manifestation comes. Amen. In other words, it's not just talking a thing. Amen. Amen. What, what inside you should come out you and manifest itself, whatever in you, whether it's positive or negative. Amen. If, you, if you're still cussing and misunderstanding and in all kind of conflict with people, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. So uh, this is a great passage here that I read here. And this got hold of me. In other words, you heard me say many times, I actually had a, a, a I had a really a theological, a catastrophic theological collision with this particular passage here that just blow my head up and affect me so much until I couldn't get around. I actually wanted to know the implication and the application that's a manifestation out of what Jesus, all Jesus teaching was great. It is a matter of when we're gonna really get an understanding on it. Amen. So like I said to you, uh, the message changed a different method here. Amen. It is when the group reject him, and uh, the writer, even in Hebrew, said, leaving the principle of the doctrine. That's amazing. Yeah. It is so amazing. See, go, let us go on. Now, the text I'm talking from is uh, from glory to glory wherever you are. And Paul said in the third chapter of Philippians, see, I count not myself to a proper hand, but this is one thing I do, forgetting the things behind. And I'm pressing toward the mark of a high calling. This is, this is what we, uh, amen. Uh, in other words, we should, you, you don't stay in kindergarten. And those principles that I laid out in Hebrew, the sixth chapter, that's your like beginning. It should be at some point that you can look back and see some room between you and your starting point at some way or another. I always start that. I, amen. Uh, so Jesus, uh, <clears throat> he give an invitation here an invitation and it's personal it's a personal invitation he said come to me all oh. amen all who could see your need to be saved all you could who could see your need to make some changes in your life all who could see the need that i'm man i'm not getting nowhere i'm going in circle he said come to me all that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He promised us that we who fall in him, if you get weary or anything in the process, he promised us, he said, take my yoke. Amen. Take my yoke. Oh, hallelujah. Upon you. And learn of me. See, I am meek and lowly. In other words, ain't no harm in me. I'm meek and I'm not ready to fight the kind of worldly fight. Amen. That's not the kind of fight. Amen. I'm, I'm in a fight to get over myself. If you could win that fight, then you on your way. When you overcome yourself, then you're on your way. He said, my yoke is, my, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Say, say my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My burden is light. Let's look at a little application on that. Let's see that. 
it says that in the life application, they say a yoke, a yoke is a yoke is a heavy wooden harness that fit over the shoulder of an ox, uh, an ox. This help draw this picture. It is attached to a piece of equipment and the oxen for the oxen to pull. A person may be carrying heavy burden. Burden, number one of sin. Number two, excessive demand of religious leader. Number three, oppression and persecution. Weariness in the search for God. Jesus frees people from all these burdens, you know, sure, we, we all have burden from time to time, but the text is designed to give us strength that we need through our faith in him that we can trust, we put in Jesus. Jesus said, Jesus, he extended an invitation here to we who struggle and go through different things. You, you, I'm sure you're familiar. I'm not talking that new nowhere. You're familiar with struggle. You, burden, they all fit in the same category. Things we go through, burden, things you don't know how, how it's gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. It's like you at a crossroad and you don't know which way to go. I describe burden in that way. Make it common. We can understand here. You're trying to do something and you can't do it. You, you don't know how and you don't know and you don't have the strength to do it. And Jesus give an invitation, a final invitation here. He said, come on to me all. Yeah. See? In the sense he said, his yoke is easy. That's me. When you let go and you let God, it becomes easy. The same yoke, amen, that the oxen are struggling to pull and bind them together. He said, but my yoke, I, I got a different type of yoke. I use a simple thing, a natural form to describe to you. So you can understand the spiritual one and you can get through these. Burden can be very heavy. Burden can keep you awake. Burden can keep you worried about a situation, a circumstance. Y'all ever been through a burden, a burdensome situation that looked like wood, this wouldn't let you, wouldn't go away? You, I mean, you could wave your hand if you ever been there before. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. If, now, it's two reasons why you may not have been there. Maybe you you are too new in the earth. Uh, so live so perfect that you never run into no problem nowhere. Uh, two things can happen like that. Amen. Uh, I've been on the earth 77 years. I have many burdens. I had many trials. I had many tribulations. Amen. But I, I, I couldn't solve them things. I, I get them now. When I see them, I just say, Lord, you know. You know. Yeah. You ever read the things you couldn't help? You already see them. You've been there before. You see some stuff you can't help. So why struggle with stuff you can't help? Give them to the Lord. He said, come on to me. Oh! That link. A heavy bird, a heavy laden. I will give you rest. Amen. I'll give you rest. He said, he said, take my yoke. We've been carrying so many other yoke. He said, take my yoke. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. How you gonna learn? You have to get in the word. I mean, get in the word. Jesus said, Matthew 16 and 24, said, if any man desire or come after me, let him first deny himself. I, 
I, you got to depend on me. I, I, I don't have the strength. You got to come to me. Come to me. All my days coming up as a little kid in church. I used to hear them like after the service saying, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus just now. I didn't understand the implication of these things. They said, come on to Jesus just now and say, he'll save you. I did not understand. I was too little. I didn't know. I was too little in Christ. Little baby, I couldn't understand them things then. So I didn't know what that was. Until later on, I realized that. So here the Lord have me preaching now about this thing. So come to me, all you that labor. You, ah, amen. This is what he, the invitation he extend to us. When you get burdened, trouble in mind, look like you just can't make it. They make a song, say, oh, Lord, I, I can't make it by myself. I, I just can't. I can't make it by myself. And I know that for a fact. I cannot. I can't do without him. I said, take my yoke. His yoke is easy. The one that he, the, the, he said, take my yoke upon you. Take on the responsibility. Accept me. James, what is it, 4 and 7? He said, Sit, submit yourself to the Lord and resist the enemy, the, the enemy of weariness, the enemy of tiredness, uh, the, the enemy that burdens you down, trouble your mind about situation and stuff and things like that and can't sleep. You you ever lay awake, uh, couldn't sleep at some time because you didn't know how something was going to get fixed. You thought something was going to happen. And the next day the Lord fixed that and, and you stay awake all night for no reason. You worry all night. You didn't have to. You know what? It's not as simple as what I'm saying. I know that, but God will align things up for you and make your bad in life. Oh, hallelujah. He'll make your bad in life. You, oh, hallelujah. How many of y'all ever know that? And then back over in Africa, let me tell you something. I know y'all heard people say shouting. Shouting come from way back in Africa, where the people, when they didn't know how things was going to happen, uh, what uh, they were stressed out, and, and they get to a point they couldn't go. You ever been to a place where you couldn't look like, couldn't go no further? Oh, I know I'm talking to some common people here. I know I'm talking to somebody who faced something in similar situation before. You ever get to a place where it looked like you couldn't go no further? You couldn't go forward, you couldn't go back, you couldn't move to the right, you couldn't move to the left. Oh, hallelujah! Hey, that's the way the word of God. I mean, the word of God is the thing to turn to. No, we must first deny ourselves, though. You, you ever struggling with your all the trouble and thing we go through with trouble with ourselves? We can't let ourselves go. You you got to, amen, denounce yourself. Amen. Lord, in your hands. I'm in your care. That's what you got to do. You got to say things like that. I'm in your care. If you, I play that song because if you go to Jesus, if you go to him hungry, he'll come back. You'll come back full. Physical and out spiritually. He does. He feeds on both levels. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! He feeds you on both levels. I told you all that before. You just got to recognize it. He feeds you physically and he'll feed you spiritually. This is why he'll make you whole. Oh, y'all better know what I'm talking about now. I'm talking real stuff. I'm talking real life, y'all. Amen. I'm not talking off the top of my head. Amen. Uh, Jesus gave that invitation uh, to those who were thinking about would follow him and don't get caught in the crossfire. 
Amen. You can get caught in the crossfire, you know. You can get caught falling after the world. And this is the easy time for that to happen now. The way the, the, way the world is in now, the economy and situation going like it's going. Amen. You got to be careful now. Amen. How you hold to your faith. Amen. You got to do it. Yeah, Jesus said, Jesus said, come on to me. He said, come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Huh? I'll give you rest. And listen to what he said. He said, take my yoke up on you. Well, back up. The rest mean peace. Peace with yourself. Peace with your sister. Peace with your brother. Peace that passes all understanding. When you don't understand stuff, you still got peace. You don't get riled up over everything and too much confusion. That's the rest that the Lord will give you. He said, come on to me. So take my yoke upon you and learn of me. I am meek. I'm lowly and hard. And ye shall find rest unto your soul for any, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There is different requirement for you and I or anyone who want to follow Christ. A couple of the scripture is this here. If any man, Matthew 16, will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Uh, on Hebrews 6 and 1, at the risk of repeating myself, is it, therefore leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on, uh, on to perfection, mean maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead work and of faith toward God. Amen. Don't let anything shake your faith. Amen. Hold on to your faith. Trials may come, tribulation, storm may rise, wind may blow, but brother, hold on to your faith. Amen. You may not have the money. You may not have fine home. You may not have fine clothes. Uh, but hold to your faith. Uh, faith is in the hearts and uh, the spirit of man. Uh, the devil might could take certain things from you. Uh, it might could take your clothes. Uh, it might could take your car. Uh, it might could take your house. Uh, but it can't take your faith away. Uh, your faith is within you. Uh, your faith is not an object that somebody could put their hand on. Uh, your faith is deep and rooted down in your soul. Uh, and the devil can't harm uh, a praying man. Uh, uh, the devil can't take away your faith uh, that is within you. Uh, and Jesus, uh, he said, uh, amen. Uh, to the Pharisees, uh, the Pharisees uh, had heard Jesus uh, saying some things, uh, and they come to him. Uh, they heard how he silenced the uh, Sadducee. Uh, so they come to him. Uh, amen. Uh, they were lawyers. Uh, they were higher up. Uh, even they were well educated uh, in the law. Uh, Jesus had made it clearly uh, a clear understanding. Say, I come not. Uh, to do well with the law, uh, neither the prophet, uh, but I come to fulfill them. Uh, I want to make things better. Uh, I want to make it clear. Uh, amen. But they were uh, in the natural mind. Uh, you can't receive Jesus' sin uh, in with your natural self. Uh, amen. You gotta, you gotta denounce. Uh, 
yourself. Uh, you got to deny uh, yourself. Uh, get to a point in Christ uh, where you are willing uh, to depart from yourself. Because he said he that seek to save his own life. Uh, the same shall lose it. Uh, so he introduced this great invitation here. Uh, they come to him. Amen. Uh, amen. So Jesus said to them, uh, Thou shalt love uh, the Lord thy God uh, with all thy heart. Uh, in other words, uh, in, in other words, stop talking about it uh, and be about it. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, Amen. As indicated in Matthew, the fifth chapter, in what we call the B attitude. Uh, didn't you hear my teaching? Uh, I already taught you. Uh, I already said it to you. Uh, and you ignore it. Uh, you know, sometimes we can get so caught up uh, in ourselves uh, until we put ourselves uh, ahead of the word of God. Uh, amen. He said, if any man uh, want to come to me, uh, let him uh, first deny himself. You can't follow Christ. Uh, you got to empty out yourself uh, so God can put something in there. Uh, amen. You got to empty. Uh, a full jug of water uh, cannot hold any more water. Uh, if you try to put any into it, uh, it just wastes on the ground. Uh, amen. You got to empty. Uh, if you want the Lord, uh, you got to be willing uh, to deny yourself. Uh, you got to be willing uh, to submit yourself. Uh, and Jesus give what a great invitation. Uh, this is one of the greatest invitations, uh, but it's individual invitation. Uh, amen. You got to be willing uh, to forsake everything else um, and accept the invitation. Uh, then he will come in uh, your heart. Uh, I heard a writer saying, I came to Jesus. Uh, as I was, uh, I was weary uh, and I was wounded. I don't know if y'all can identify with any of this stuff. Uh, I used to hear uh, Grandma and him singing. Uh, I did not understand uh, the implication. Uh, somebody else said, I come to Jesus. Uh, or rather, I come to the garden uh, alone. Uh, you got to be willing uh, to go to Jesus uh, by yourself. Uh, but he will not leave you by yourself. Uh, I like what that writer write. Uh, he said, well, I come to the garden alone. Uh, but I come now uh, while the do uh, was still on the roses and I hear the voice that was falling on my ear and the son of God discloses in other words he revealed to me uh, that he walks with me, uh, he talks with me, uh, and it tells me uh, I am his own. Uh, and the joy, uh, it got to be somewhere you got to know is you. Uh, you got to be able to say I. Uh, I understand the writer said the joy we uh, collectively. So uh, if you with one accord, uh, two can walk together. Uh, if they're in disagreement, uh, they can't see anything. Uh, amen. They can't enjoy uh, the presence of God. Uh, amen. <clears throat> but I believe uh, the church uh, is a call out, uh, set aside, uh, baptized, uh, Holy Ghost group uh, of believers uh, that walking with one accord uh, in agreement. Uh, they see things uh, from whatever level they at. Uh, you heard the saints say, iron sharpens iron. Uh, yes, iron sharpens iron. Uh, the saint blesses one another. Uh, they comes together uh, with one accord, uh, with a testimony. Uh, amen. 
and that they was delivered uh, from something. Uh, I'm delivered uh, from a lot of things. Uh, I'm still being delivered. Uh, I'm sure you is too. Uh, the text, the context it uh, from glory to glory. Uh, whatever you was uh, yesterday, uh, it was great. Uh, but today God got something. Uh, hallelujah! Greater! Uh, he's a greater uh, is he did in you uh, than he did in the world. Uh, uh, no matter uh, what happened yesterday, uh, there's something greater uh, under him uh, that is able uh, to do uh, exceedingly uh, and abundantly. Uh, and above all, uh, we can ask the thing uh, according to where you are, uh, according to your faith uh, according to the power uh, faith is power uh, and it works as in you uh, where is your faith uh, what level are you on uh, where are you uh, what level uh, are you running on uh, where you want uh, your faith to run uh, high a uh, uh, low a uh, uh, medium uh, man i want it in super gear uh, i want all god uh, has for me the invitation was extended to the, to in every individual, wherever you want to be, ever how fast the race ain't given to the swift or the strong, but ever how fast you want to run. Amen. So your testimony, your word, amen, if you continue, and his word, you will be his disciples indeed. Manifestation will take place in your life. It will take place, whatever you doing, whatever, whether it's positive or negative, it will come out. What's in you coming out? What's in you gonna manifest itself? It's going to, it's, oh yeah. If you love the Lord, then it's gonna manifest itself. Yeah. Someone sing a song like this. Say, I'm going to lay down my burden. Sit down by the riverside. And say, I ain't going to study war no more. Uh -huh. Say, I ain't going to study. Once I came to Jesus as I was, weary and wound, but I found in him a resting place, and he had made me glad. Another one said, he had made me glad. He had made me glad. I will rejoice because he had made me glad. And nothing say, I'll enter into his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praises. And nothing say, this is the day the Lord had made. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice in it. Amen. We will rejoice. This is the day the Lord made. He said, come to me. I'll give you rest. And my yoke is easy. It's easy. Amen. I what we had, I got something better. Always remember that. The Hebrew people were scattered abroad. Jesus preached to them. They, they write on Paul in the epistle, write to them, say, hey, listen, we come this far by faith leaning on the Lord and we can continue to lean on him. Don't go back into Judaism again. I'm, I got something greater for you. I got the Holy Ghost for you. And the Holy Ghost will reveal all things to you and bring all things back to you. Remember, I got something greater. That context, see, from glory to glory. Paul said, I count not myself to have upper hand, but one thing I do, I forget them things behind and I'm pressing toward that mark. Are you present of a high calling in Christ Jesus? I want to go where Jesus is. Bless you. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Uh, this is what you give me, oh God, and that's what I have. So we thank you for your word. We thank you for your blessing, your people that really receive your word, that it will advance the kingdom in them. Oh God, regardless of who reject around them. Oh God, I thank you for my advancement and you will not depend on others around me or how others think or believe, but my faith and trust in you 
the church here collectively called out and chosen baptized group of believers. Oh God, we thank you, Ian Dusharvinian. We thank you for your people. Bless us all in a very special way. Thank you that we may receive your greatest blessing. That is eternal life. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget, you can help us continue to spread the good news by subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's PIBC, Pentecost Inspirational Baptist Church. Like, follow, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week.